Hey everybody, it's George Wooden again from BW Limited Charity Fundraising, your charity fundraising one-stop shop. Check out our website at www.bwlimited.com. It's sunny. Can't believe it. It's been raining for like a month, it feels like. So today, I'm going to answer some questions and something that's always asked um, or if people have a negative opinion of sometimes, but I'm going to explain it to you and hopefully you understand why. People, you know, one of the biggest things that BW Limited uh, that we do is we provide charity auction items to, to charities all across North America. We've been working with charities as far away as Alaska for at least five years. And um, people, charities routinely will ask us just to ship them items to have in their silent and their live auctions. And a lot of people say, you know, the, the old myth, and it's a myth, uh, why should we use, why should we pay you to have auction items? You know, we can go out and get donations, and they're free, and we keep all the money. Yeah, that's true. But the reality of charity of 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 uh, donations is the fact that they're only bringing about an eighth, a quarter, or sometimes even a half of retail. That's the reality. Face it, that's the reality. People don't want. You know, we, we have to understand that donations are great, but they're really not really all that effective. Yeah, you keep 100% of the money, but 100% of 20 bucks, we've talked about that in other videos, so it's kind of beating a dead horse. So let's talk about why. Why you should use charity auction items. All right. The common um, donated thing is a gift basket or a gift certificate to a local restaurant, right? Okay. During this whole thing, I want you to remember, local people going to a local fundraising event with stuff donated by local businesses. Local people local businesses now we've talked about in the past we've talked about the fact that uh, businesses can't donate to everybody there's 104 million charities you know this stuff right 104 million charities across the United States most of them have chapters saying we're talking about 150 million and now there's benefit events there's people raising money to help somebody out uh, like for instance like my good friend Scott Berg in uh, Lansing Michigan Scott's you know we're getting ready to plan a really big event for Scott um, that's called a benefit. He's not a charity. He's a benefit fundraiser. So there's probably about another 50 million of those. So in reality, there's 200 million charities. There's only 50 states in the nation. Businesses get pounded, did, pounded, did, did, did with, that's right, did, 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 with donations, with people coming in and asking for donations because every charity thinks there's nobody else asking. Ask the business owner, hey, let me ask you a question. How many times do you get asked for donations? He's going to say, oh my God, 10, 15, 50 times a week. They can't. They can't donate stuff. They got to keep their lights on. This thing here, right here. We got to keep the lights on. They can't do it. It's impossible. So the reality of it is that donations are great, but they mainly, the best place to use donations, honestly, quite honestly, is in a, in a raffle setting. The common donations are gift baskets and gift certificates. But I always say to people, hey, you know, talk about all oh, these gift baskets are fantastic. Yes, they are. They're great. But how many did you give away to your family or friends for Christmas? Zero. Nobody done it. They're nice and all that other stuff, but they're really not all that great. And they don't bring big, big, uh, um, big bids or make a whole lot of money on them. But if you put them in a raffle, that's great. Okay, so let's just take okay a gift certificate. Say a $25 gift certificate. How much are going to people going to pay for a $25 gift certificate on a silent auction? 15 probably okay now let's take for instance what do i have right here oh my gosh it's an autographed boxing glove by sugar ray leonard and um roberto duran no mas that's a for all you kids out there it was a long time ago no mas it's dual signed two autographs one two psa dna we talked about that before right certificate of authenticity so your gift certificate's up against that. Now, let's just say we put this in, I don't know what the price of cost of nonprofit is, but the cost of nonprofit say it's two hundred dollars. And that could be wrong. Please don't quote me on that. I got fifty thousand in my order in our in our inventory. Now, two hundred dollars. You start to bid on this bad boy and it's in a case for two fifty. You don't pay me up front. I ship this to you. I don't care where you're at. You could be in Alaska, I'll ship it to you. You don't have to pay me anything. You started out at two fifty. It sells for five hundred dollars in the case. You just made three hundred dollars. Now, see this thing right here. My good friend Ron Zega had this last year in his event. This is the Jack Nicholson approval quote. 
um, that sold the cost of our profit on that is 225. It sold five times for 1,050. Do the math. 225. Well, 1,050 minus 225. It's five times. Now you only pay for them up front. The reason you need this, this stuff, and this. This is the uh, Yankees collage, World Series collage, and this. And some other things that are sitting around in my office and downstairs in, the, in our in our warehouses. The reason why you need it is people want good stuff. They want good stuff. They don't want that junk. They don't want the, the gift certificates and the gift baskets. They want good stuff. Another thing, too, is, yeah, you do. You pay me, but you're making more money on this. And plus, it elevates your, your, uh, your entire event. People come to you and go, oh, my God. They had this Jack Nicholson thing. They had a, a Roberto Duran and... Sugar Ray Leonard thing and the and, and the Yankees they had this and they had that autographed helmets you've seen me them them in my videos before you know how in the world did you do that because all the other charities are just doing donations gift baskets and gift certificates there's other charities this is a hint Shh, don't tell anybody I told you this is between you and I there's other charities that are only making a couple thousand dollars at their events that's how you're gonna rock them home run out of the park. And have good stuff. <coughs> people, <coughs> and then if you put it up on Facebook, pictures of the stuff that you get from us, people are going to start talking about it. Oh my God, how did you get a helmet signed by so and so and so and so and Johnny Rotten Crotch and Jimmy Shits and Nickel and all that? You're going to, people are going to get excited. That's why they're coming, right? So auction items. Why? Oh my God, well, George, I. We, we, we don't we have to pay for those yes you do but guess what ducks unlimited did i learned this whole thing from ducks unlimited and rocky mountain elk and all this they forced their charity their chapters out there across the united states to buy stuff you're i'm basically consigning these things to you it helps you it doesn't hurt you people say well it takes money away from our from our donations no it don't actually it pulls money out of the crowd People do not walk in the door and say, oh, I got $1,000 today. I'm just going to throw it up in the air and it's going to land where it lands. No, they walk in and they see stuff I, and they'll spend their money. But if they don't see anything, they're not going to spend it. People, That's the, a myth of charity fundraising, ladies and gentlemen, that people just come in and are going to make a donation regardless. That's not true. It is not true. If that's true, you wouldn't need to do a fundraising event. If you're a small charity, let's say you're a baseball team. Maddie, are your teams out there? Yep, I see them out there because you probably shared this. If you're a baseball team, you're a small fundraiser, you need good stuff. It attracts people to your event. You need good stuff. Give somebody, somebody something to bid on. They're not going to go to the Smith family restaurant down the street and bid on a $50 gift certificate. They're not going to do it. It's another myth. Oh, people at our event, they pay over what the gift certificate amount is. That's a lie. It's a myth. Stop saying that. That's not the truth. Let's be real. The reality of fundraising, that's what I'm all about, right? The bald-headed guy. The bald-headed guy is telling you that, that it is a myth. It is a myth. People do not pay over top. They don't get anywhere near the amount the gift certificate is for. People do not want gift baskets. If that's true, ask yourself, and I want you to answer this. I'm going to wait, see if you're going to do it. I want you to answer this. Did you buy any gift certificates for your family and friends for Christmas? I'm sorry, not gift certificates, because everybody buys the gift certificates. Huh, the easy way out. But did you buy any gift baskets? Did you give them any? Did you get any? No. Right, right. It's the truth. So when you're planning your next event, know that you need auction items. Plus, another thing, too, is having really cool auction items like this and this and this and all this other stuff. It actually brings the bids higher on your donated stuff because people are bidding higher for this the starting bids are higher so they automatically will bid higher it's the truth why do you think I exist why do you think charities are lining up to get stuff I can't make it quick enough right Karen st. Marie down in South Carolina she's waiting on a banner I've got because we closed down for the holiday she's waiting on a Clemson banner that sold two times at her event this is the truth ladies and gentlemen you need auction items. That's why they work. Do it, do it, do it. You will be surprised. So that's today's rant. By the way, happy new year. Tonight's it's New Year's Eve tonight. Woohoo! Who's going partying with all the amateurs? I will be knocked out.
ain't no big deal. It's just another day to me. Can't wait to work tomorrow. So, hey, I'm George. I appreciate you watching this. Check out the website at www.bw. I'm sorry, www.bwunlimited.com. Bwunlimited.com. Check it out. Give me a call. 410-658-8808. I'm here in Maryland. That's right, Hon. 658-8808. 410-658-8808. Or email me at george at BW Limited. Hey, do me a favor. Share this video. Let everybody see what I'm saying. You want auction items. That's why they work. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next year. Bye-bye.